Okay, we're headed out to the lake uh, to take the uh, miserable larval out there. Uh, I fixed all the problems in it, so we shouldn't have too many. Uh, although I did get to play a couple of games uh, today, uh, and the games that you play are direct, directly proportional to the amount of time you have. You get to play more games if you have less time. Does that make sense? Uh, these games include uh, uh, catch the uh, uh, pressure washer hose on uh, the only nail in the fence. Uh, that's a difficult game, uh, but I won. And uh, uh, another fun game to play is called Dead Battery. So this is which, uh, which vehicle is going to have the dead battery. And is it this one, or this one, or this one? Yay, we have a winner! Yeah, dead battery. Uh, and the reason why I had a dead battery is I hooked one of those battery tenders up to it, but I unplugged the battery tender um, a month ago. And there's a little light that runs, and it drained the battery completely, the little light in the battery tender. So careful with your battery tenders. Uh, <laughs> Hit me back if you've ever played these games. Uh, these are equivalent to fair games that you would play at the uh, state fair, uh, such as ring toss and such, uh, except the, the ones at the fair are impossible to win. However, the, uh, the, the amount of difficulty, again, uh, of the game that you're playing is directly proportional to the amount of time you have. The less time, of course, the more difficult game is easier to win, if that makes sense. I, hope, I wonder if anybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, out to the lake. Okay, we're in the little Shangri-La, and uh, the uh, coolerator is going uh, seven ways to Sunday. It's about 100 degrees outside, but it's not too bad in here right now, uh, with a little air conditioning on there. Here's, uh, here's my micro bathroom, and we have everything we could use and everything we need, except I'm pretending to wash my hands. Uh, for some reason, the park doesn't have water, so we're waiting them for them to repair that and things will be just fine. So this is the uh, interior of the Shangri-La. It's not very big, uh, but when you're out camping, it sure beats a tent when it's 100 degrees out. I'm telling you. So yeah. Get a better picture from outside. Lucky 13. Okay, we just got done playing gigantic uh, diesel truck right next to us. That was a fun game. I like I like gigantic diesel truck. Um, there's the, uh, the bus. And uh, we have some... We have some players already in the water. Looks like. Uh, the wind's blowing about 400 miles an hour here in typical Oklahoma fashion. <laughs> However, if the wind didn't blow, uh, the misery index would go quite higher. I uh, didn't bother putting my boat in the water yet because it's quite windy. Nice. You see what that is? Maybe you don't. Let me get you another close-up look. See what that is? That's a sea do key. Now, if you go out and you take your boat out to the lake, you will play Lost Sea do Key. Always have another. Now, to stop your sea do key from being lost, Put a big, stupid, ridiculous float on there, especially if you've got keys on it, because the keys are going to weigh down this. Here's, here's the float, and it just barely floats with the key. But you put 
metal keys on here because you're going to play lose the key to the camper too. So you, you, you see, you got to you got to do this too. <clears throat> you want a big ridiculous float on there so it floats. The the more absurd and ridiculous, the less likely you are to lose it. Ask me how I know. If you buy one of those pathetic devices, water devices, and it doesn't have two keys with it, walk away. Because they come with two keys, and anyone who doesn't have two keys to them had not taken care of the boat. Exactly it happened in my case. But anyways, ah, uh, two keys. Two keys are best. Five keys, ten keys are better, usually. Or you will play the game of Lost Keys. She goes. Yep. Look at all the ducks. It was a very peaceful evening, and we woke up to this. It's still a nice day, but there's a front coming in, and uh, the wind's at a steady 15 with gusts to 20 to 25. So I'm not going to put the sea dew on the water because it'll just, uh, even with my anchor out there, it'll pull it all the way into shore. And what you don't want. You don't want your hull rubbing on the sand because it'll just tear it up, the gel coat. So I'm going to see what I can do about some work on the inside of the bus. Because the wonderful little AC is underneath your head, <coughs> it makes a lot of noise, so we decided uh, to sleep down on this end with our heads down on this end. In that case, we can't watch the television. So I think would it be a good idea, uh, since I'm out here, I'm going to kind of try to refigure the shelf under there and maybe the TV on that. cabinet door and it'll lift up you'll still be able to get it because the TV's only a, it's a small TV so we'll see what we can do see what we can come up with I have uh, foregone the uh, remodeling of the motorhome because the wind has come down and it's quite a nice day now I think the front came through I think it was a front that came through is what we're supposed to have and it calmed down considerably so we can boat now shouldn't be too bad. Uh, this is my anchor. It's a couple of milk jug uh, concrete and uh, I'm going to take that out there and it's about four feet of rope or three feet of rope. The Mountain Dew bottle floats and then the blue one ties to the boat and it keeps it from beating itself on the beach. So, okay. 
Well, I managed to get some spark plugs that were, find a couple that were reasonable. I'm going to take the wife out for a buzz. And see if it don't clear up. A lot of sailboats over there. Pretty. Cruise control. Well, it's a wonderful evening on Thunderbird. Sun's just going down. Had a cool front come through. So it brought us down to, uh, oh, it's probably 70s right now, which is, you know, it was 94 this afternoon. So it's kind of nice. Sun's going down, sailboats are coming out. Pretty nice. Probably be a whole flotilla of them out here. So. so these came up on us. A bunch of little hatchlings. Look, it floats. It's amazing. Wonderful morning. About uh, 
67 degrees. No wind. Beautiful.